How's it going, Grey Boys? It is week seven, and it's kind of a rivalry week for us. Uh, number three, Michigan plays host to us, and as a directional Michigan school in the Big Ten, you gotta think this means a lot more than it typically would. The Wolverines again are number three. We're sitting at number 21 after a pretty bad loss, a disappointing loss at least to Nebraska. The Cornhuskers were number 10. Let's take a look at the top 25 polls, see what's happened. The Florida Gators still managing to win, it seems like. They're the second loss that we have. They'll play number six LSU, which means one team will be taking their first loss. Georgia will be playing the Teal Boys. Coastal trying to hand them their first loss, so we will definitely be rooting for the Teal Boys, although that's pretty typical for us no matter what. Nebraska jumps up three spots to number seven, uh, and they'll play at number 18 Penn State. We both actually are on pretty long streaks. I think both of us have three games in a row against top 25 teams uh, all in conference, so a lot of chaos probably going to happen there. Did we have losses? Georgia Tech took their first loss uh, at Army. Tennessee lost to Georgia. Texas took their first loss at Ole Miss, which somehow Texas, even though we're in week seven, has played three games. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, must be very backloaded. We took a loss. Illinois took a loss to Michigan. 41-24, uh, that is... That's not good news for us. Uh, they're a higher overall team than us, and they lost by a pretty big margin. And then Navy also lost. So lots of stuff happening. Michigan State dropped out. So just uh, chaos all over the Big Ten at the moment. And let's take a quick look at the Heisman watch. I don't know if we know exactly what's going on here. Certainly, we're not going to be up there. Auburn's John Jackson, the quarterback from Burbank, California, is sitting atop that list. The quarterback for LSU, Chris Jenkins, is there. Georgia's quarterback, man, uh, SEC quarterbacks this year, fighting hard. And then you got Marquez Walden, the junior quarterback for USC. None of these guys are super high overall. Georgia quarterback at 90 is the highest. But then uh, Henry Ware, well, the Nebraska running back that just did a number to us. He's fifth on the board there. All in all, looking okay. Uh, we're favored to win this game, but before we get into that, let's do our recruiting. I know that we have some visits to schedule, and we did get locked out by Dion Rhodes. Can we open this door? Top schools? Oh, that is huge. He's a 78 overall wide receiver. Well, mostly a wide receiver, but we can open the door after Purdue had their visit. Now we're only 600 points behind, and we have a visit in like five weeks. So if we can manage to hold on, I know they uh, get a ton of bonus points, and so does Cincinnati, but... If we can manage to hold on, things are going to look really, really good. Three players on our board are ready for their visits. Zach Holden, Rondell Owens, and Ben Patrick. Ben is a really good wide receiver. Zach's a decent corner. And Rondell could, you know, he could play, be a backup. Uh, so we want all of them. And again, we're trying to schedule for that Michigan State game because we want to make sure that we get a win. Also, scheduling late in the season is nice. So starting to stack that, but I'm not going to do any competitive visits this year. So who's going to be easier to beat Penn State or Ohio State? Ohio State's ranked lower right now. I got to say, I feel like Penn State's easier, but we're going to send uh, guys who can't go to the Michigan State game to the Buckeyes game. And Rondell Owens, he's going to have to go to the Penn State one. Maybe I should have checked this fighting against Purdue for this middle linebacker. Well, let's, I guess, start to get into this one again. For some reason, we're favored to win this game. Michigan is going to blow us out of the water. Uh, I guess we could just hope for the best. They uh, beat uh, current number eight, Notre Dame. Uh, barely beat Troy. Did a decent job against Louisiana Tech and then beat a current 22, Illinois. So it's not going to be the easiest game, but it, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not going to say it's not going to be the hardest because we could get blown out worse than we did against Florida. Michigan, a 95 overall, a 97 offense, a 93 defense. By far the most difficult team uh, skill-wise that we will come up against. So I don't feel confident. We're on the road. Maybe we can trick them just by wearing the, the whiteouts. They'll think that we're surrendering and then... While they're putting down their arms, we can get into the end zone. The Wolverines, again, another team that's kind of hard to uh, change from their classic, but it's either the maze or the navy. We're definitely going to change it up. Let's go crazy. Let's put them in the all maze for this matchup and see what happens. Coming into this one, Michigan's offense is a really high overall, and it makes sense. First in points, seventh in yards. 
And they're doing a decent job in getting those yards both ways. So it's a two-headed attack from that Wolverine offense. Their defense, not bad either. Stopping the run really well. Um, they're giving up a decent amount of points, but I don't know if it matters at the end of the day. Meanwhile, we're just struggling. Uh, we're decent at stopping the run this year, but with our quarterback situation, we can't seem to score a whole lot, or at least consistently, and passing the ball is always going to be a struggle. Top players for the Wolverines, 95 overall free safety. Thankfully, a punter's up there, but also 95 and then a 94 overall tight end, so definitely got to be worried. Skill positions on both sides of the ball. And at least for us, Frank Blair was on a hot streak, but now Durham Finch Jr. is as well. So maybe he can bring a little bit with him. And this could be big. The quarterback for Michigan out with a broken collarbone. He'll return this season, but thankfully we won't have to face him. Well, enough of that. Let's get this one underway and just hope that it's not too bad. Oh, here we are. A night game at the big house in what is going to be considered a rivalry certainly at this point i'm pretty sure we've beaten michigan too so they are going to be wanting revenge tails has failed us on the road here in ann arbor and we are going to be starting with the football a nice gentle breeze again so we've been getting blessed with the weather this season but certainly oh we're gonna need a miracle to make this a good game a good return from frank blair always would set the tone well but no blocking. <laughs> We're going to start this drive inside the 20. Last game, we saw both Albert and Maurice struggle to throw the ball. So hopefully we don't have to go to the air too much today. Albert is, of course, starting this game. But we might go to Maurice and hope that he doesn't get too injured. Second and four after a decent run on first down from Durham Finch. And that one, oh my gosh, the linebacker obliterated that run. And it's going to be a third and two. So we come up to this first third down of the game. I'd like to ask you guys, if you end up enjoying this video, to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Nearing 5,000 subs on the channel, Durham Finch. Oh, he tried to fight for it. And we're going to go for this. If we convert, you have to hit the like button. Uh, if we don't, you, you still have to? I'm not sure. I guess you could hit the dislike button, but you guys won't see the number there. And oh, no. We got blown up. I guess that's what happened when you, you run on every single play of the drive. Here's the thing. I'm not too worried about that. I think that we have to be risky all game long because, again, this is our 70-something overall defense going against their 97 overall offense. Oh, a strip sack. Ryan Hill got popped. It's a loss of eight. They got lucky to recover that one. It's important to remember that this is the backup quarterback in, but he's still a 91 overall, so he shouldn't be too bad. Is this one a good run out towards the edge? And we didn't get the tackle, but we forced Dwayne Summers out of bounds. Certainly, I'm going to be a little bit worried about this one. I'm going to focus on the tight end Johnson here. We know that he's really good. But if we can hold them to a field goal after the turnover on downs, that would be fantastic. They're going to run a draw. That's going to go nowhere. Defense holds three and out. It's the field goal formation out for Michigan. Kind of got us to jump there. Will they be able to hit this? Their kicker, well, their punter's good. Is their kicker as well? That one looks all too easy, and Michigan's going to take a 3 nothing lead. I'm sure they're disappointed about it, but I'm not. And LSU upsets number one Florida. So one of our losses looks a little bit worse, but at least... Uh, it's an undefeated team losing. Uh, I shouldn't be returning this ball. I forgot to sim, but that's fine. Frank Blair, well, that was worst case scenario anyways. The field position is two yards better than the first drive, which is hard to believe, but is the truth. Uh, we're going to continue to run and it's not going to work. I'm just so scared to pass, especially after we had five turnovers last game, but we'll give it a shot. The other thing is that Albert Johnson a little bit rattled here, so it's kind of scary stepping back to throw. Jody Gentry, nice catch from the freshman. That gives us a first down, and Albert completes his first pass of the day. Everything that we can do to kind of settle Albert down in these big games is going to be big and building up that accuracy. Durham Finch bouncing around, manages to get five yards, and we're to the 40. And we'll see what we can do here under the center. We're looking to pass. X was open. This could be, oh, it's a terrible throw. We're lucky that one wasn't picked off. Albert, there's that inaccuracy that we saw all game long last week. 
Greer in its ugly head today. Third and five, we're going to try to run it. That's not looking good. Durham bounced off the first tackler, but still gets dropped for a loss. Uh, we're going to punt it away this time. Fourth and five, maybe I think about going for it, but fourth and seven, we'll just boot this one away. Hope that we can get... Oh my gosh, they almost blocked it. Hopefully we can get good field position. He muffed it. Oh, but he managed to pick it up. That's twice we could have had a turnover. Just doesn't quite work in our favor. I'm going to throw a temper tantrum if the AI blocks one of my punts one of these days. First and 10. Expecting the pass, but they're going to go to the ground with a counter. I bit a little bit too hard on it. So Dwayne Summers is going to get 11 yards. I think what's really going to hurt us today is the fact that we've had chances for two turnovers and haven't be able, been able to uh, convert or, you know, grab either opportunity. And so they've got off Scott Free with the little mistakes that they've made. They're going to continue to run this one. Nobody's going to be able to get out there. Whitaker, nice job preventing the touchdown with that tackle. But at the end of the day, it's still another first down for this offense. They step back to pass. And we should have had a pick. Accidentally swapped to Ron Johnson the third a little bit quicker than I intended. And we just overran the route. So they were able to catch it and get another first down. This is definitely going to be a run. Carter, good job slowing him up in the backfield. And Ron comes in to finish off the tackle. If we bend but don't break on this drive, I don't think I can complain. Looks like it's going to be a run. The awareness not there from the linebackers. So again, uh, too easy of a run for Dwayne Summers. Can we do anything to slow these guys down? This one's got to be a run, right? I want to bring pressure. I'm a little bit scared to call the blitz, though. They run the counter. It's a broken tackle. Smith with a touchdown saving tackle there. But it's first and goal. Wolverines are averaging like 10 yards a carry at the moment. It's not going to cut it. They step back to throw. Quarterback scrambling around in the pocket. That's huge. Another eight-yard sack, our second of the day, and it's a school record for sacks in the season for Troy Carter. He already has 11 on the year, and we are in week seven. Plenty of time to extend that one. Expecting a pass. We're going to look for another sack. Oh, no. Miller, good job, Dallas. He prevents a touchdown again. This is scary. How about on third and goal? I'm again expecting to see another pass play. They will step back, trying to cover it. Corner of the end zone. That was an absolute dot. Could not have gone further into that corner. And the Wolverines score the first touchdown of the game to make it 10 0. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can get a better return by simming the kick. It's going to be fielded. Yeah, take the touchback. That's our best field position so far in this game. Through two drives now, the offense has a total of 23 yards, averaging to a play. That's not going to get it done. Trying the option, getting the pitch out to Durham Finch. Broke one tackle, but the second one was there all too quick. So just to gain a three, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Down 10 nothing, but we can't be shut out for the entire first half. That would be disastrous. And I think maybe my play calling is a little bit too conservative, but you guys have seen how bad Albert has been at throwing the ball. So it's a third and six and certainly we'll have to pass, but can we feel confident that we'll be able to get anything? Stepping back, I'm going to throw the out route and there was just a miscommunication. Fourth and six, nothing doing with this offense. Three drives and now it's a total of what? 27 yards? That is atrocious. I'm going to cheese a punt here and hope for the best. They, again, almost block it. This one, he muffed it. Ron Johnson, the third, recovers. We're getting in his face on these fair catches, and he's getting freaked out or something. I don't know if maybe you call that kick catch interference, but now we have the best field position of the day. We're going to step back to throw a maybe open. Just throw the check down. Give it to Durham Finch again. Building confidence with the accuracy for Johnson is big. That pass completion makes it a second and four. Again, if we can score, that would be huge. Even a field goal on this drive. Albert going to keep it. We'll slide tackle a man and pick up a couple more yards. And we are 0 for 3 on our third downs. And hoping for anything. Durham Finch, the running hasn't worked well so far today. Oh, the blitz from the corner destroys us. Fourth and four, but we got to go for it. I'm not feeling confident whatsoever that we can get this one done. Can we motion Fontenot out of there? Let's just pull one of the men. 
uh, out of the area and hope that we can make the right read. Got to hand it off to Courtney Smith, and he's short of the line to gain. <sighs> Nothing's going our way today. We got the one punt, uh, the muffed punt recovered, but other than that, it's been brutal. 11 runs to two passes for Michigan, so we should probably expect this one to go to Summers. We'll see. They will step back to throw. Plenty of time. Quarterback gets hit. Carter now owns the, the school record. 12 sacks this season. What an absolute monster performance. You love to see that from one single player. But what can we do to make the most of it? Quarterback blast. Look at all the space. What is Whitaker doing running the wrong direction? And then we're going to give the face mask at the end of it. It's a 32-yard gain at the end of it. Oh, my goodness. I think against Florida, it was 36 to six at the end of the day. I gotta say, I'm not feeling at all confident. Let's bring some pressure here. Try and stop anything that they can do. Whitaker trying to right the wrongs. And it's not enough. Hit the quarterback as he was throwing, but it's completed for yet another first down. This is downright embarrassing how badly we're getting torched. We do not belong. In the top 25, a screenplay. I was late to react to it. Logan has his tackle broken. London brings him down. But again, a first down on yet another play. On top of it all, this backup quarterback, four of four on his few passes. So run here. One broken tackle, two. But Dallas Miller finishes it off. And hey, they didn't get a first down for once. Just going to keep blitzing and pray that something good happens with that. Trying to bring London. And Royal, can we jump the snap? The motion's kind of messing with me. Tight end going to the right side. Don't want to get called offside. And they're burning the clock. No, man, they lulled me to sleep there waiting. Carter, oh man, Summers just caught his own tipped pass. Thankfully, we were there to get the tackle. It's third and five. Five wide for this quarterback. We've already seen him run once. Can he do it again? Time throws it. Lewis can't get there. It's into the end zone. Thought we had a chance to hold them to the field goal, but Michigan will extend it to a 17-0 lead with 2.32 left here in the first half. Oh, man, this is this is disheartening, to say the least. A returnable kick for Frank Blair. Blocking, not great. Inside the 25 once again. At least we have all three of our timeouts here. The problem is we don't have a lot of time, and we have a quarterback who's not good at throwing the ball who's gonna have to throw the ball an awful lot. That one thrown behind John Wilson, but he catches it for six yards. That was a good job from him. And we're just gonna go in the hurry up and see what happens. A little play action boot pressure coming. Right bumper, A may be open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that hurts. Oh for four on third down conversions and we're gonna hope for the best on this one. Uh, what can happen? Stepping back, right bumper's wide open, Durham Finch. Nice job from him. Enough to keep the drive alive in our first third down conversion of the day. And now with two minutes left, we'll step back again to throw. Give it to Durham Finch. I got to take our first time out. Let's take a breather here. Albert, five of eight now throwing the ball, but we're just having to throw little dump off passes, so that's not great. They're playing pretty far up. What's the safety going to do? He backs out over the middle. John Fontenot is who it is wide open. That's across midfield. But we got to keep it consistent. We've certainly struggled. We've had drives like this before where it seems like things are going to go well, but then they don't. And oh, that should have been a pick. Ah, that was a terrible decision. They were bringing a blitz uh, with a defensive back. So it got me a little bit worried. Panicked. Made a terrible read. One of those things that we can't do right bumper open. Wilson. Oh, maybe a pump fake there and it's a touchdown. Lucky the safety didn't hold on to that. How about on third and 10? <laughs> Can we try the same play? What are the odds that it works? Stepping back, pressure all over. We got to throw. Oh my gosh, that's... We didn't even throw it to Gentry. I tried to throw that to A in the middle of the field. Oh, Albert, you guys might not agree with this one, but I'm going for it. 0 for 2 on the fourth down conversions. And uh, we're going to step back and hope for the best. I do not feel confident, and neither should you guys. They're bringing a lot of pressure. Just got to get rid of it again. Albert missed his man. Had time to set and make the throw. Nobody in his face, but just missed by a mile. 90% of this has to do with the new sliders that we're using. And to be fair, they're punishing us for having a bad quarterback. Oh, ho, ho, ho. thought we had a chance at the pick. 
Well, Michigan has a chance to go up four scores. I guess technically just three, but that's certainly not what we want to deal with. Tight end goes in motion, trying to bring pressure. We slowed him down, and he just had to get rid of it. Threw it at the tight end, but there's nowhere for the ball to actually get to him. And I will say, you never know. There is some small chance that we could, uh, I don't know, get a stop and put up a field goal before halftime. Obviously not feeling confident. Over the middle of the field, Ron Johnson the third. Great job getting there and breaking up that pass. It's fourth and six. And with the uh, clock stopped, we still have two timeouts to work with. <laughs> we saw Albert do a decent job at the start of the last drive. Maybe he can do something on this drive. Part of me really wants to return this, but I know it's a terrible idea, so we'll take the touchback. And now we have a minute and 20 to go 80 yards to try and make this somewhat respectable. Certainly we haven't seen any sort of, oh no, respectability yet. Jody Gentry comes to the ball. It was an inaccurate throw, but it works out that time. If Albert threw that where it was supposed to go, it was picked off. So counting our blessings on that one. Jody's got the one-on-one. -on -one. I'm throwing it up for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right. Well, Albert, uh, he's got the yips, man. Just launched that one. Let's run it on third and two. Try to convert Durham Finch. Nice job picking up a few blocks. 14-yard gain. We needed that one for sure. And we're actually going to keep it on the ground here. I know 56 seconds. It's a risky decision, but on the triple option, big home run potential on these plays. We will wait, get the pitch out. Fontenot, oh man. The problem is he kind of slowed down there. He actually got a decent amount of yards, but the clock is moving and that's the problem. So it's second and three, 35 seconds on the clock. Again, Jody Gentry has the one-on-one. -on -one. Safety's going over there, which leaves the middle of the field open. Bobbled around, a bad pass. Lucky again, it's not picked off. And my goodness, are we lucky that the Wolverines secondary does not have any hands because this could be atrocious otherwise. Uh, and it looks like it could be atrocious no matter what. Stepping back to throw. They're bringing a lot of pressure over the middle. Two guys wide open. Albert, you can't be that inaccurate. It didn't really work last game, but to start the second half, we're bringing Maurice Tate back in and hope that it's going to work. We're going mid-screen on fourth and three to try to convert, and oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, isn't that a disaster? I didn't know what button to throw to, and the, the screen wasn't open. I hit A. There was no A receiver. It's a scoop and score touchdown for the Wolverines, and this day keeps getting worse. All right, we're going to try to cheese a little bit here. We'll see if what I can do is possible, although it's likely not. Blair gets the pitch out to Ron Johnson. Oh, no. <laughs> if Ron got that, I think that was a touchdown. Unfortunately for us, it's not the case. We have the ball at the five-yard line. Maybe not the wisest decision just to heave it up here, but that's what we're going for. Uh, I don't know, 14 seconds in a dream. Not taking the sack, not taking the safety. It's incomplete on the first attempt. I just like, I know that this is kind of stupid to be throwing here, but we need the points. No deep safeties here. Somebody's got to get open, right? Wilson kind of throwing it deep for him. He comes down with it. Take the timeout and we're going to throw up a Hail Mary, I guess. I certainly can tell you I'm not feeling confident about this, but we'll see. Maybe Albert can have one of those throws that goes 10 miles. Gentry comes down with it oh he needed to break one tackle and he was gone they covered that so poorly <laughs> we needed it so bad 24 to nothing as we head into the locker rooms i feel like we are not a top 20 team i feel like we're an fcs team and we are getting bodied nothing going well albert johnson coming out of the game here it's time for maurice tate to get injured again but it's gonna take a miracle i think just for us to get on the board let alone be competitive in this game. Uh, we'll see what we can do in the next two quarters, but things do not look good, that's for sure. You already know to start this second half, it's onside kick time. Got a decent amount on it, Jones. Oh, again, a good bounce. Kerr has it. And Michigan has good field position, but I don't think it matters at this point in the game. Got to do every single thing that we can to try to get the ball in our hands and just pray and hope for the best. Carter, maybe he can get the 13th sack of the year thrown off the back foot. 
That was a more accurate throw than anything Albert's had all day. Certainly, they're going to run on this one, right? Going to bring the pressure. Going to ignore my man. Uh-oh. Tight end's going to be open. We got up to him. Oh! Good throw. Good catch. Every single time, I feel confident that we're going to make a good play. Everything collapses, <laughs> and it doesn't happen. So, again, praying for the best. This one, oh, no, run out towards the edge. A huge tackle. Who was that? Dallas Miller? Beautiful. That'll make it a second and 13. <laughs> That's a couple too many plays to try to defend here, though. So, kind of expecting a counter on this one. It is a counter. I uh, still over-pursued poorly. But we didn't give up a first down. So I guess that's an improvement over the first half. Man, now that you guys have been able to see a couple games with this new slider set, I want to know down in the comments, do you guys think that we're going to be able to win another game this year? Because it's not looking good, that one. Short of the line to gain, but just too short for the zone to be up there and they get the first down anyways. Certainly there's got to be at least one team that we're able to do well against, but what team is that going to be? First and 10, another counter. Dude, oh my gosh, the ankles absolutely shattered. Dwayne Summers into the end zone, 31 to zero. I can't believe how badly this one's going. Oh man, this, <laughs> this is rough. We were favored to win this game. Remember that. I don't know what Lee Corso was smoking, but I want some of it because obviously it's some good stuff. Guess one benefit uh, of it being the start of the new quarter and start of the new half is that we can run the ball again, although they're bringing pressure. Durham Finch needing to run. Durham Finch off to the races. He's not going to be fast enough to score, but that is the biggest play of the game. 45 yards on the counter. Just outrunning a couple of big tackles. Oh, some life in this offense yet. Uh-oh, for us. I think that was Frank Blair. Out injured. I don't know for how long, but that's certainly not good news. Outside the pocket, Maurice Tate. Let's scramble. Can he pick up the block? He can, and we got to make sure we're not taking hits with Maurice all game long if we want him to play for more than, like, three sets. So Frank Blair is injured. Ab strain. We're keeping him in. Sorry, Frank. Man, Maurice Tate opening up a whole new world. Could we do something here? I'm flipping this play. I want as much space as we can get. And then let's bring Brian Curtis back over the motions, I think, opening up the field for us. And on the read option, Maurice will get to keep it. He's got a blocker downfield. Oh, I tried to slide. That's a hard hit for Maurice to be taking. Well, when in doubt, just, uh, just keep running with your quick quarterback. I like the route with Jody Gentry. If he can get past his man, we're maybe over the middle. Wilson into the end zone. The tight end gets it done. Nobody shuts out Eastern Michigan. And with the extra point, we could score more than we did in the Florida game, which is an improvement. All right. Well, let's just keep trying these onside kicks. All it takes is one or two. And we're right back in the game. Kerr again recovers one. He's apparently got some good hands. Maybe we try to kick it away from him. And anything from the defense would be good. Even if it's a bad stop, a stop is a stop. This one, an option pitched out. Logan can't get the tackle. Slowed him down enough. Oh, a huge hit on Dwayne Summers. Still got four yards, but we like to see that. Four receivers in the formation this time. Uh, Wolverines are going to run it. Little draw. Low. <laughs> London's there for the stop. This could be a chance. Third and five now. And you don't have to tell me that this is risky. I already know. We're bringing the pressure. Although they're five wide. So we need to get out there real quick. In fact, uh, that's a little bit late to make the audible. We got to be out of position. There's the stop, though. Just happened to throw it right to a defender. It's fourth and two. Please don't go for this, Michigan. They're going for it. Oh, our first chance at a stop in ages. And they're going to disrespect us with this. Expecting the run. It's uh, play action. Logan stops him. It's a turnover on downs. The momentum swinging in our favor. It's a long shot, but there's life still. All right. A quick touchdown. You never know. We could be kind of back in this one. I'm trying to get outside the pocket. A is open. Fontenot, great catch. They brought pressure. We made them pay. And I really want to... Uh, keep throwing the ball but we're gonna go with a counter here durham finch cutting it back inside only got four maybe could add more if we just kept it north i think it's time for the hurry up from here on out uh 
Let's do that with Jody Gentry. We're looking to scramble on every single one of these plays. The first block is all that we need. Plenty of space. We're taking off. Maurice Tate makes a man miss. He picks up a block. Get out of bounds. He did take a little bit of a hit, but 27 yards nonetheless. Don't even care if this is a little bit cheesy, but that's how we're going to have to win this game. Triple option time, Maurice. Got to be careful. Gets the pitch out, Stan Williams. Nice little stutter step. Gets the first and goal. Let's go with a little zone read. See what we can get on this one. Maurice keeping it. Into the end zone. Oh my gosh. Holding my breath that whole time. Didn't even take a big shot. Now here's the thing. We got to start going for two on these, I think. Try to make it... Uh, oh, that's not the play I called. Try to make it as few points as possible. Uh, well, we're going to go to the air and we're going to scramble with Maurice. Let's just bring everybody across and hope for the best here. Maurice definitely running on this one. They're not bringing pressure outside the pocket, waiting, throwing it. Mitchell comes down with the two-point conversion. Good. And we're only down 16. Michigan may be starting to sweat just a tiny bit. Maurice Tate. Is this enough to earn him his starting spot back? I'm not sure. Again, we kick it to Kerr. He gets a good return that time as well. The big problem is we're going to run out of time. A minute and 30 on the clock. Uh, definitely worried about that one. Expecting the run on first down. And that one is handed off and dropped for a loss of two. We brought the pressure and it pays off. Second and 12. Just got to get a stop here. We could be alive. <laughs> I can't believe we're in this predicament. Imagine if we could have scored a single touchdown in the first half. Oh my gosh, what just happened to Kerr? <laughs> he did a freaking cartwheel. Oh man, that's a, that's a real bummer. Had a chance to get off the field. This one's going to be tough. Quarterback keeps it on the option. Pitches it out. Blair, good stop. We needed that one desperately. How about on this second and nine? This one also could be big. They're going to go with the little draw play. Sims pulls him down. Had a chance to get it earlier, but still, we got him in another third down situation. And once again, I'm bringing pressure on this play. Got to hope for the best. It looks like an option. Quarterback pitches out. Rawls pulls him down. Fourth and seven. They're certainly going to have to kick the field goal here. I don't expect them to miss it, but you never know. We are outgaining them in total yards by such a crazy amount. Over 100 more yards than the Wolverines. This kick is up and good. 34 to 15. Two seconds left in the third quarter. What on earth can we do? Wolverines booting this one away. I'm returning it with Blair. Again, praying for some decent blocks on this return. Mm, not quite there. So that's going to end our third quarter. We scored 15 points. We didn't give up a whole lot, just the three, I think. So we're coming back, but it's going to take a miraculous fourth quarter to get this done. As long as Maurice can stay healthy for the rest of this game, I think that we could have a chance. I'm scrambling out to the other side this time. Y was wide open, but I don't know if I trust the accuracy. Pick up the first down and then slide. Maurice is starting to get hot, so maybe now we can trust his accuracy a little bit. Anything to shut up this Michigan crowd. Again, outside the pocket, right bumper, wide open. Mitchell comes down with it inbounds, 22 yards. That is big. I don't know if we deserve everything that Maurice is giving us after we benched him, but certainly we can't complain. Fontenot in motion. First and 10, stepping back to throw. Right bumper could have been open. I'm going to take off. Use Fontenot. Maybe as a blocker. No. That could have been another 10 yards, but we'll take it. I definitely want to be throwing more, but their coverage is just really good. Stepping back. Pressure coming over the middle. Oh, Sean Mitchell was open, but he just couldn't quite get it there. That gives us a third in inches. Obviously, four down territory. As again, we're going with a triple option. Tate pitches it out. Durham Finch breaks a tackle, and he's off to the races. The 10, the 5, into the end zone. The 33-yard touchdown run on the triple option. This game is not over yet. Still, we have a chance. An onside kick, and this could be, oh my gosh, oh so close. Because of that last uh, field goal they got, I just kind of felt like going for the easy extra point. Again, decent power on this one. Jones, ah, Porter comes down with it. At least it's not Kerr. That's a good return, though. 
Holding them to another quick field goal could be really good, though. If they get into the end zone, that's when we're going to be in trouble. But man, the offense has just absolutely come to life on this one. Trying to maybe jump the snap here. Dallas Miller, they're going to go play action. Oh, I had the chance to drill the quarterback in the backfield. Only gave up three yards, though. On top of it all, it's second and seven. And the clock was stopped, and they went in the hurry up as well. So that's great news. Quarterback throwing this one out of bounds. He was looking for the fade, but it's well too covered. Third and seven. Please, defense. If we can get in with Carter and disrupt this play, it's going to be huge. Backing everybody off. Carter, good pressure on the quarterback. He's throwing it on the run, and it's complete. Oh, so clutch from that QB to make that throw. We were inches away from forcing a long field goal attempt instead, though. It's first and 10. Again, they're going to have the chance to keep throwing. Quarterback scrambling for the first time all game. We're going to have to hit him. Unfortunately, he doesn't fumble in its first and goal. Time to put Clinton Whitfield in that QB spy and continue to try and rush with Carter. Touchdown. No, he dropped it. Oh, if only we could have picked that one off. Second and goal, running back and fullback in this formation. Definitely going to be expecting some running. It is going to be a handoff out towards the edge. One chance for more, and we bring him down. Third and goal at the line of scrimmage. I would be lying if I said I was not absolutely terrified here. In the hurry up they go, trying to get to the line. Looks like it's going to be a run, and we can't get the stop. All too easy. Should have brought the pressure, but I was expecting a pass. So it's a touchdown for Michigan, and that might dash our hopes just enough. It is not technically over yet. You saw we came really close in the Nebraska game. Maybe we can do something here again, trying to get a decent return. Frank Blair, oh my God, our blocking on the edges has not existed all game long. Well, let's hope Maurice can continue to run because we are absolutely desperate at this point. Sending guys deep. Stepping back outside the pocket. Guys could be coming open. X. Oh, he threw it behind John Wilson. Still got the first down to stop the clock. And I got to be honest, that was a very generous spot from the refs on that one. But we'll take it. 422 on the clock. Fontenot will be our pitch man on this triple option. Get the pitch out. No. Got the. Oh, Tate. You got to get that pitch out. Oh, that was going to be huge. Second and 12 now. Instead of what should have been a first down and maybe a whole lot more. Stepping back to throw, waiting. I'm not seeing anything. Gotta throw it away. Can't risk taking a sack at all there. Certainly didn't feel like we could scramble on that one. So that's just kind of where we're at. Throw Mitchell deep. Let's put Durham Finch on the wheel route. And then we're going to kind of run behind him. Our defensive end's doing a good job giving us the time. Y is open. Can we get it there? Durham Finch. Great catch puts us to midfield. The big worry now is that <laughs> we're inside four minutes to play. We got to save all our timeouts. They're bringing pressure. This is a tough throw. Curtis comes down with it. Three defenders needed to take him down as well. How painful is it knowing that just one touchdown in the first half could have really changed the tide of this game. Stepping back. I'm scrambling again, Maurice. Just get out of bounds to stop the clock on every single play. They're not doing anything really to stop a lot of these plays. And oh, they're bringing pressure. We're sending guys deep, hoping that we can see them step up. Wait for the safeties to get close. Snap the ball. Tossing it up. Mitchell came down with it into the end zone. This is absurd. Sean Mitchell gets in. And again, we're still not dead. Well, you know, I'm not feeling confident about this one, but again, we're looking for Tate to scramble outside the pocket. They're not covering it very well, but they're bringing a lot of pressure. Just got to get rid of it. And we can't get the two-point conversion. That was tough. 28 to 41. This is what, our fifth onside kick of the game? And I'm hitting them how we should. And yeah, we touched that one first. That's a shame. They're going to get really good field position. Actually, no. They're going to get bad field position because this game glitches out when you... Uh, have an illegal touching on a kickoff. Just the way things work. Uh-oh. Tate out with a strained calf. He's definitely coming back in. But just the way things work, it sends him back to the 25 in this game. They're going to run. Great stop for a loss of three. Well, they're going to be burning the clock. We should expect blitz runs. We got to start blitzing on every single play. Trying to get in there. 
We forced uh, third down, but I can't afford to take the timeouts quite yet. Here we go. Third and one. This is pretty much game on the line as far as I'm concerned. A stop here, and we get the ball back. We know they're going to burn the clock, actually, so we should be able to jump the snap really well with Carter here. This play is going to take us inside two minutes in the game, but what can we do to stop it? I got to be a little bit worried about the counter. They've been running a lot of those, but no, they step back. Quarterback over the middle, and I still can't take the timeout. We need to save it for the next possession, but it's fourth and eight. Punt formation out. Frank Blair back to return. A miracle could still happen. I'm not holding my breath, but oh my goodness. Crazy, crazy sights here. So this is going to bring us inside uh, a minute and 20. Couldn't jump the snap well enough. Certainly a returnable ball for Frank Blair. If he can get the blocks, he could do something with it. Minute and 10. Oh, this is going to be big. I think it's the fact that somehow we've only given up 10 points in the entire half that's really messing with me right now. Four verts set. We'll see what we can do. They're definitely worried about the scramble now, which is good news because it leaves guys like Brian Curtis open. He breaks a tackle. There's a flag down, though. Certainly this is coming way back. Got to be a holding. The worst part about that isn't that we lose the yards. It's that we lost eight seconds. Durham Finch gets called for it. That's brutal. So that one's like a 50-yard difference because we were real far after that one. But now we'll step back again, looking to throw outside the pocket. A could be open. Maurice finds Wilson, and he's got the first down, 26 yards. I'm just sending everything at every opportunity. Maurice Tate, if he wins this game for us, is an absolute hero. Can we get it? Oh, Durham Finch was wide open. They're doing a good job containing the edge on that play. The thing that scares me the most here is just that an interception ends the game. But you never know. Stepping back. Oh, the pressure's coming early. Durham Finch. That's pass interference. He was getting held up the whole way. Oh, that sucks. Third and ten. Four of ten on these third down conversions is not great. But we're going to hope for the best on this one. Not covering it well to begin with. Pressure. I'm heaving it up. It's a 50-50 ball. And we throw the pick. Dang it. Terrible time for that to happen. I think I needed to throw that to the tight end instead of the wider receiver because he was just like another step further downfield. But it's going to take a miracle now. More than a miracle, really. Can we get the stop is the real question. We know it's going to be runs. So anything we can do to stop it is big. Taking timeouts, 35 seconds. <sighs> it's not looking good. Obviously, if we manage to have something good happen... You never know, but it's just, uh, it's looking scary. That's a good run. Most importantly, because it burned like four seconds off the clock, but we do get the three and out. It's a real shame because if we would have scored, we could have done the exact same thing. Uh, just now we would be getting the ball with a chance to win it with 30 seconds, as opposed to now we have to score like two touchdowns in 30 seconds. A very returnable ball. The last thing we need is penalties on this return. <laughs> We're going to have to score so quick. The best news here is we're on the left hash, so Maurice has all the room in the world to roll outside of the pocket, and you know that's going to happen. They're doing a good job defending it. Just got to heave it into the end zone. Wilson can't come down with it. Oh, if I throw that a quarter second earlier, maybe he has a chance. Problem is we don't have time to scramble, so we almost certainly have to have a pass that goes up. And X is wide open. X is wide open. Fontano! Can't hold on! Oh, no! If Tate throws that another foot, foot and a half further downfield, it's a touchdown, but it's not the case. That is a real shame. I'm going back to Wilson on this one, and that one's incomplete. Three seconds. We're going to throw up a final Hail Mary just for the pride, but just not enough. We did a lot in this second half, but we just had such a bad first half. A could be wide open. Palmer can't come down with it. Oh, so many opportunities late in the game to try and come back, but it's just not quite enough. So at the end of it, Michigan, I don't know. Do we say it was a blowout? Because we made it a competitive game, but they win it pretty convincingly. What, 41-28?
Defense did a good job in the second half. Offense figured that out with Maurice at the helm, and I don't know. Albert has not been accurate for two games straight. I think it's time for the Maurice Tate show to resume for the rest of this season. And hope that we can get back on track, because we've fallen very quickly to 4-3. and three. Definitely at risk of getting back to 500, and, you know, a bowl game at this point in the season is not even guaranteed. I don't think I can hate. We were down so big at the half, 28 to nothing. Uh, and then we fell down even further very quickly. But the fight of this team to make it somewhat respectable, uh, I'm proud of them. We didn't give up a whole lot of yards. I mean, that's because we gave Michigan great field position for the entire second half. But 206 on the ground for us with 285 through the air with a team that's not great. And somehow we only coughed the ball up twice. One of them was a, a strip sack a scoop and score fumble. And the other one was uh, an interception kind of in desperation time. So <laughs> things looked pretty bad. But at the end of the game, we clawed our way back into it. Maurice, obviously player of the game, offensively 153 passing yards, but it's the 87 uh, rushing yards and three total touchdowns that really makes him stand out. And then Troy Carter, the two sacks adding on to his total for this season definitely makes him defensive player of the game. Well, before we even advance the week, let's go ahead and just do this. Into the depth chart. I'm sorry, Albert. We gave you so many opportunities, but it's time for Maurice Tate to retake over and hopefully start to get that awareness up because right now it's sitting at a 65. But, I mean, he's a freshman. It's time to build for the future fully. Unfortunately for us, that's certainly going to knock us out of the rankings unless there's a crazy amount of chaos. Uh, we play a potentially a ranked Penn State next week. We know that Florida lost, so Michigan will move up. But the question is, how far will Florida fall? Our three losses are all very, very solid losses, but they're still losses at the end of the day. Locked out by the kicker, Clinton Harper, but that's fine because we weren't giving him points. A lot of recruiting battles since uh, Rondell Owens coming to visit. Now the question is... What's uh, Penn State ranked? Number 14. So the past three weeks, we've played 10, 3, and 14. Penn State, 3 and 3. They're getting the benefit of the doubt there. We have a better record than them. And, well, we're not expected to win. They're just a B plus, So we should theoretically have an easier time. And we're ranked higher than them in every category except for rushing offense in turnover differential. So we should have a decent time uh, trying to contain these guys. Unfortunately, that is going to have to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, please feel free to hit the like button. I want to know in the comments I asked if uh, you thought we would win a game ever again in this season. Now I want to know, did you guys think the comeback was real? Because there was a good chunk of time there where I thought it was going to happen for sure. After you've done that, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Something like 75% of you that will watch this video won't be subscribed. So you could do that i would greatly appreciate it we're nearing 5,000 subs so if all you guys hit it we could get there really really soon after you've done all that though you can head down to the description where you can find links to my twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster so also links to my twitter instagram tiktok our community discord and the college football revamped mod if you're trying to get it for yourself but all that being said thank you guys so much for watching my name is Goonmaster, you guys are the Grey Boys, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios!